So for buccal infiltration of the 1-4, the target bony site is slightly distal and superior to the apex of the target tooth. You also need to identify the soft tissue landmark. And so for the buccal infiltration, you are aiming for the height of the mucobuccal fold of the vestibule adjacent to the target tooth. Your syringe should be oriented so that it is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Before administering the injection, we will apply topical anesthesia. So firstly, we will dry the tissues and then we will apply the topical for one to two minutes. A short needle is used for the buccal infiltration. Retract the tissues carefully with your mirror. Ensure the buccal mucosa is well retracted and the tissues are taut. The target bony side is slightly distal and superior to the apex of the target tooth and we are aiming for the height of the mucobuccal fold. Our syringe is oriented so that it is fairly parallel to the long axis of the tooth. The needle should be inserted approximately 3 to 5 millimetres and then slowly deposit 0.5 to 1 millilitre. Carefully withdraw the needle. Palatal infiltration of tooth 1-4. The target bony site is at the greatest angle of the palate, the junction of the palatine process of the maxilla and the alveolar process of the maxilla. You also need to identify the soft tissue landmark at the maximum tissue thickness of the palate. The syringe should be oriented so that the needle is inserted at approximately a 45 degree angle to the palate. Before administering the injection, we will apply topical anesthesia. We will firstly dry the tissues, then we will apply the topical for one to two minutes. A short needle is required for the palatal infiltration. The target bony site is at the greatest angle of the palate and we need to identify the soft tissue landmark at the maximum tissue thickness of the palate. The syringe is oriented so that the needle is inserted at approximately a 45 degree angle to the palate. The needle is inserted approximately 1 to 2 millimetres. Then slowly deposit 0.1 to 0.3 millilitres. Deposit slowly and you will see the tissue blanching. Carefully withdraw the needle.